If you are still bound, how will you travel? I crafted a protection ward that'll keep me from being pulled out of the realm. It should hold until I find what I need. And what is that? The source of the magic that binds me to Midgard. We're going to find it. And destroy it. I will help you. But it will not change what I have done. I know. That's why I still might kill you when this is over. We going or what? Ain't going nowhere without this. Where would you monk spouts even be without me? And what is it you expect to need Kratos for, Highness? Clearly you've been quite capable of breaking Odin's curses on your own. The other curses grew weak from Thimble Winter, but I still needed help to break them. This one is held strong. So all that trying to kill him, that's just your goddessy way of asking for help? I don't recall asking you to come along. It's because you didn't. I got an old drinking buddy I've been meaning to look up once this joint were back on the map. Got a hunch lending you mokes a hand's gonna end me up where I'm going. And what makes you think that? Cause last I heard tell, she was running with that beefwit brother of yours. Freyr is not a part of this. Well, my hunch says otherwise. Scrote too. I can feel the pool of the binding curse. Its source is further in. Follow me. Muggier than a Mutlheim shit pit out here. And nearly as fragrant. Suppose Thimblewinter's to blame. But if it helps these two find peace... This is a temporary alliance, Mimir. Anything beyond that will require trust. Oh, please. You know damn well Kratos isn't the true cause of your suffering. You're both as much a part of my suffering as anyone. Hey, how's about a riddle to lighten the mood? <laughs> what runs with no way? Easy, I knows. You'll have to try harder than that, bro. Come on, let's find a way forward. Through here. Oh no. Something's wrong. My spell, I can feel it slipping. Well, that's Thimble Winter for you. You don't understand. I'll be torn from the realm. What can be done? Something I was hoping to avoid. Seems I don't have much choice. Falky! <sighs> Come on, then. You had a way around Odin's curse this whole time. No. I discovered it once you unlocked realm travel. And it solves very little. This form is extremely limiting. That's Thimble Winner for you. Not. Watch where you're going. I told you. Prune it from a safe distance if you'd rather not get poisoned. I recognize this market. Villages would meet and trade here. 
but they never rebuilt. Brother, do you really think she'll let us off the hook if you help her? I do not know. I choose to help. After that, we will see. Ah. A market, huh? Looks like they sure left behind a lot of goodies. Shame to let them collect dust. That's one way of looking at it. Has everyone gone, I wonder? They must have withdrawn, hidden themselves out in the wilds, and covered their tracks with magic. No way of knowing how many are left or how to reach them. Aesir ran cockshot all over this place, huh? You can thank Mimir for that. War with the Vanir was never my idea. My idea was brokering the marriage to end it. A great success that was. Obviously, the peace was no less a disaster than the marriage. Did he invade again, as soon as I was exiled? This here would have made for a prime shop location. Dwarves in Vanaheim? That would be something to see. Poetry of your own brother? No. Well, ask a stupid question. Yeah, you like me? Come on! Play, play! 
back memories of that wedding of yours. Fancy folks and quality meat. Though I remember your brother stirring up an awful scene. Why do you keep bringing him up? My brother is no concern of yours. Do you understand? Oh, I understand plenty. <laughs> Plant life grows more dangerous the further we go. Hope you're up for it, Dwarf. Listen, I know how bad it can get with my Sindri and I were on the out so long, it was like not having a brother at all. Now nah, I take some of the fall for that on account of me walking out. But it never stopped me blaming him most. Any of this sound familiar so far? And what is your point? My point is, that weren't the end all of things after all. Once we got our heads right, it was like no time had passed. He went straight back to being as big a pain in my ass as he ever was. That's family. You gotta keep them close, or they make you good and crazy. Why do you think I need to hear any of this right now? My focus is on regaining my freedom, and I have no intention of being distracted. Look, all I'm saying is, if you happen to find yourself talking to your brother, maybe the worst words said between you don't have to be the last one said. Enough! When the day comes to face Freya again, it will be when I am standing on my feet and free. Do you understand me? It will not be while I'm stuck in this preposterous situation. Got a case of pride, I Hope yours clears up quicker than mine did. A touching story, that was. Bite me. You wish. What did Odin do to drive everyone away? What weapons did he make the dwarves build him? How much was just Mjolnir? Can one man do this much damage? Depends on the weapon. And the man. What is this? Not now, brother. We've got company.
If you want to keep your insides inside. Yeah! All yours, big guy. Your people not receiving <laughs> visitors? I wouldn't know. They're not my people anymore. <laughs> Bet you're glad old Brock's around to save your skin. Uh-oh. Shit! What? Ah! We should probably go get him. Keep your guard up. Send another god to do his dirty work. Thor too busy. We do not serve Odin. <laughs> no? Picked a dangerous place for sightseeing then. All right. No, no. No need for threats, brother. off your head, but it seems somebody beat me to it. Aye. Oh, quite observant, brother. Oh, oh, oh. Well, you're no brother of mine. We sold my sister to that prick. We broke it a piece. Oh. Did you now? Where is it? Hmm? And where is my sister? Some dungeon in Asgard? Is she even alive? Answer me. I guess we'll settle for blood. Stop! What is that? Why do you speak in her voice? It's me, Ingvi. There's no time to explain, just listen. These men are in my service. I'm here to reclaim what's been taken from me. It's too late. You can undo what's been done. I can. I will. Now let them pass. So... You serve my sister. Oh. Oh. Don't we all? Put him down. What's with leaving me hanging like that, you crusty hag? Can it, Blobber? Come here. Well, found who I was looking for. Think I'm gonna stay and catch up. Oh, are you now? Do as you wish. Brother, if you wouldn't mind, I'd have a word with Lord Freya.
Reminds me of a Vanaheim song I heard long ago. Sorry we got off on the wrong foot there, stranger. I'm pretty used to only seeing ace here in these parts. Don't typically get friendly faces. That... That is a friendly face, right? His name is Kratos, and no. The ace here on Vanaheim. <laughs> yeah, we've been occupied since... Uh, I lost count. What is your plan? We're still kind of working on it. Mm -hmm. Brother, I think I could be of use here. If my counsel is welcome. I'll take what I can get. Your mission will go considerably smoother without me in the mix. Come back for me when you're done. Hey, Kratos. As long as you're working for my sister, carefully you don't screw up. She's not too big on forgiveness. A bit late for that one, I'm afraid. All right, let's see what we've got here. Tell me about your army. Oh, you're looking at it. What you find? Odin's army. Now that the distractions are out of the way. I have words if you would hear them. Speak then. With anger you feel for your brother. I know it well. You have a brother? His name was Demos. When we were boys, he was taken by two gods obsessed with prophecy. The gods of my homeland seldom left survivors. So by the time I learned he had lived, it was too late for amends. His anger poisoned him against me. But I never stopped loving my brother. You think my anger is irrational? You've known Freya for mere moments, and already you're taking his side. I am not taking his... No. You're just sharing your thoughts with stuff that you know nothing about. <laughs> <laughs> An ancient!
I know what you're doing. Trying to play on my sympathies in the hope I let you live. I am only trying to help. The mistakes of the past need not be repeated. I don't need to hear about your mistakes. I've made enough of my own, thanks. Everyone is so eager to advise me. As if any of you know me or what I need. The biggest loss in my life is due to you saving me when I specifically told you not to. Well, it was my family, my mess. I know Falder wasn't perfect, but he was mine. I know. You know? You think you can even begin to understand the pain of losing a child? Yes, I do. There was another. Before Atreus? Her name was Calliope. Calliope? What happened? It was long ago. Never mind. I shouldn't have asked. Oh! Oh! Ah! <laughs> We need to get to that watchtower. We'll have to go through the valley, this way. I know your son's story. You should know my daughter's. In the service of a cruel god, I was tricked into destroying a village, not knowing my own wife and child were there until their blood stained my hands. I swore revenge. That's... 
I can't imagine. I paid back their blood a thousand times and burned Olympus to the ground. Yet, the guilt remained. Perhaps you will kill me, Freya. But it will bring you no peace. Perhaps it is not peace I seek. All those times I found you. Why'd you refuse to fight me? Every outcome would mean defeat. What does that mean? I have never wished you harm, Freya. You helped us. You saved Atreus when he was sick. I did not wish to live with killing you any more than I wished to die. I see. You hear that? Noken! And so close to the village! Their song makes their allies invulnerable. They will not let you pass Whoa. unless you destroy them all! Spend afternoons stealing honey bread from the Grand Hall and harvesting the dance and feast until the sun rose. It was all so simple. Why did I have to come back here and be reminded of all this? The Grand Hall. It's in room. May Freya never waver. The other half is missing. May she protect us always. An old adage, if you will. I hear them inside. Get ready to clear them out. to me. He's desecrated every memory I have of home. Be glad you have a home to remember fondly. In Sparta, we were taken from our homes as children and raised in the Agoji. We marched though we drowned, fought for scraps or starved. Our elders beat us till we could not stand. At night, we made our way home, alone, or were food for wolves. That is how Spartans are made.
These plants behave similarly to the scornholes we found in the foothills of Midgard ages ago. Well, considering how Spartans are made, it's no wonder you turned out as you did. Your fate was sealed from the start. Fate can be overcome. I used to think so. When the Norns told me of my son's fate, I thought I could change it. You know well how that worked out. The Norns. The fates of these lands. That's right. You <laughs> defy prophecy at your own peril. Trace would agree with you about prophecy. He rushes blindly to a fate the giants foretold. Disappears for two days, trying to prove he is their champion, fabled to fight at Ragnarok. What? I know all the Ragnarok prophecies. There's no champion of the giants. It is one glow concealed. Because of this champion, the realms are saved at Ragnarok. Only Asgard falls, and Odin with it. So all this time... Odin's obsession with every detail of Ragnarok, he's been missing a crucial piece. Ha! Well done, Dora. Atreus will not be a pawn of prophecy. You still stand against fate, even with victory foretold. I will not march my son to war. He is no Spartan. I would keep it that way. You would speak to me of protecting your child? Is my tragedy not enough of a lesson? Fighting fate is a waste of the precious time we're going to spend with them. You never know when someone will come along and cut it short. that torch to the <gasps> other side and burn the bram <gasps> You can probably use those islands to get a better angle on the torch, no?
Use your blades to swing the torch to the other side. Let's cross the bridge now. Anyone alive be squeamish about war? After all the bad you've killed. I have seen enough war to know the cost. And I don't? After the price I paid to end one? Look around you, Kratos. See what happens when you don't fight truly. Task at hand. That's one of Odin's captains. Be ready. On Skotan Asgarda. Be for enlightened platitudes from you today. Can you please just shut up and kill things?
did it. Do not tell me to kill again. What? I killed to protect my son, to aid my friends. But I will be no one's monster. Never again. You don't get to make that choice. Not with the debt you owe me. I am not here for debts. I would always have helped you. So much has been taken from me, and I'm just supposed to let it all go? Rhea. Enough. Go! Let's go. It's just past those doors up ahead. There. I feel the source of the magic keeping me in Midgar. What is this place? My home. I was born here. Hold on. Something's not right. Opin Bera. World tree roots bound in Odin's damn knots. That's how he did it. Come on! Nico! Creature! It belongs to Odin? No. It protects Yggdrasil's roots wherever they are. Bastard was counting on it. Yes, but there are more roots. 
things they've done. It's over. It's, it's really over. And now that you have what you seek, I suppose this is the point where I forgive you, where I kill you. Decided. To be honest, I don't think I can do either. There is still a part of me that is so angry that it'll always be, it'll always be angry. But no. You are not the one who needs to die. I do see that. Look. Everything that's happened between us. No need to explain. Not to me. regret saving your life and never will but the choice between life and death should have been yours to make I should not have robbed you of that choice that I am myself again. I suppose it's time to face my brother. And after that? I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had a choice. Let me live with that for a moment. We can take this way back to the camp. I can help with the vines. Now embed your blades into the glowing vines and light it. Your brother seemed open to your return. Oh, I'm sure he'd love nothing more than for everything to go back to how it was. Leaving the responsibilities of leadership to me. Ah! <laughs> 
send Odin my regards. You use your anger effectively. Well, you learn to use what you have. It's not as though I want to be angry with Freyr. He's my brother. He was the most important person in the world to me for half my life. These plants are the same as those we saw earlier. Frost should make quick work of their poison. Now the sigil should hold the frost, even in the axis. Well done. Watch out, those are wisps. Powerful manifestations of runic magic. They're impervious to physical attacks. My arrows can disrupt their protection. Could I ever think of this place as home again? After all that's happened. <laughs> Skull and Hadi are in Vanaheim? We learned the Giants rescued them from Odin and brought them here. And look. The sunlight wakes the sleeping roots. See how they stretch to welcome the sun? Beautiful, no? A far cry from the sheets of Midgard snow I've grown accustomed to. The Eastern Migration. It's just as I remember it. At least the whole realm hasn't fallen to predators and occupiers. I guess there's still something to be fought for here. Something to defend even after so much damage has been done. Maybe that goes for Freyr, too. Giants definitely crafted it. There's two wolves represented here. Perhaps a connection to our friends in the sky. A mystery for another time.
So much has happened since I last saw Freyr. I'm not even sure where to begin. What do you want from him? An apology would be a start. I want to forgive him. I'd like to think he's changed. He's all I have left now. Did you ever apologize to Deimos? It is difficult to seek forgiveness when you feel unworthy. Now how to get across? My sigil arrow should be able to carry the fire across the river to reach the bramble. This can be powerful, even for the unworthy. My wife, Faye, taught me that. Hmm. Well, be glad you have a spouse to remember fondly. We are not Petria's guardians. Ricky Petero. All my former spouse taught me was that there's no limit to the depths to which a soul can sink into darkness. Tricked me into marriage to spare my home and took my home just the same. Scattered my people to the wind. Maybe it's time somebody drew the line. Maybe it's time someone makes Groa's prophecy come true. I will not wish for war, Freya. War is a terrible thing, Kratos. But some things are even worse. You know, if Atreus rushes to Ragnarok, you may not be able to stop him. 
I will. And if you fail? I have prepared him to survive without me, if he must. Watch for the plants. They like me, but strangers not so much. I see that. You won't be able to damage it without destroying the mother. It's a large bulbous thing. You can't destroy it. So what's next for you, if not preparing for war? I do not know, but I will take no chances with Atreus. Well, you may want to think fast, unless you want someone to make that choice for you. Ready? As I ever will be. At last. Yes. Uh, let's celebrate. You reclaim the throne. We'll rebuild. Me and you against the world. Huh? Just like the old days. I'm... not staying. I don't understand. You're here. Maybe together we can take back what's ours. I only just got back what's mine. I still have work to do. You've seen what's left of the realm, right? Do we really mean that little to you? You question my loyalty? Vanaheim turned its back on me. Oh, you still can't let go of that old fight. It was my duty to save as many of our people as possible. My responsibility, one you didn't take seriously then, and from the looks of it, one you don't now. You think this is a game to me? Yeah. <sighs> we lost everything to that maniac you called husband. The man's family set me on fire. How did you expect me to react? Like my brother. Like the boy that used to have my back no matter what. And who I always supported, no matter how selfish his choices. I expected you to come and find me. That no matter how hurt or angry, you wouldn't abandon me when I needed you the most. Freya, please. I thought you were dead. Yeah. I've had to live lifetimes with those last awful words I said to you. Have any idea what that's like? Knowing that your own selfishness hurt the person that you cared about the most. Abandon you. I mourned you. Oh, I missed you so much. And I, you envy. But I won't. Find myself to another realm when I finally have my freedom. I'll send help, though.
and I will come back. I promise. This hasn't been your home for a long time, has it? Do what you gotta do. All right, all right, that's enough. Ain't y'all got nothing better to do than gawking at family sorting squabbles? Come on, you two. Not you. Got a few things to square with y'all. First is you collecting your spare head. Second is that sigil magic I smell on your bow. Reckon that's an idea I'll steal. How's about I set you up with some sonic mojo? Call it a trade. Very well. Third of all, if and you ain't staying here, Bears mentioning that Sindri and I find ourselves running a flop house for unemployed gods. If you're done freezing your backside off in Midgard, maybe come back with Beardo there. Check up on your old pal Tyr. That's kind of you, Brock. I may do just that. Well, all right then. I'll meet y'all back at the house. Lesson you want me to fix anything up first. Well, brother. Here to meet our new allies, nor shall we depart. Oh, excuse me, can you stop and help a lady out, please? Uh, what is it? Yeah, I spent a lot of time tinkering up and down the River Delta. Once Owen's army came to town, I lit out of there faster than a tassel worm with its bottom ablaze. So frazzled, I accidentally left behind a few irreplaceables. What irreplaceables? Well, just one, really. An orb. I'd be mighty grateful if you would find it. What is it? And if you come across any of my old, beautifully rusted armor pieces, I'll use the scrap to whip up something specially suited just for you. What is the orb? Just bring it back here and you'll make me happy as Sunbeam. Oh, and don't forget to keep an eye out for my old armor. I'll fix it up for you. Free charge. Mm. What sort of orb do you imagine we're looking for, brother? I do not know. May I ask? Freya, shall we go? I remember where to look for a gateway. Follow me. Well, you two seem to be getting on since completing your mission. Yet I hope this alliance has some staying power after all. It seems to me we share a common enemy. Kratos, you may not accept that Ragnarok is inevitable, but you're smart enough to know Odin is a threat. Whatever comes next, our best chance of surviving it is to work together. Do you agree? I do. Then as to Brock's offer, you can imagine staying under the same roof as a couple former enemies? No further temptations towards terrible vengeance? Not against you. Either of you. You have my word. This lock is different from others you might know. You'll need an enchantment on your chisel to use it. Boom. Go ahead, carve the letter. Suna. It's an incantation. Suna. The elves in Freyr's camp mentioned a gate like this in Alfheim. Kept on about some sacred light elf sanctum out past the barons. A trip to Alfheim.
There's a fallen log in the river. It has something on it I don't recognize. Tears really alive? Aye. Not exactly ship shape. He sleeps in a broom closet now. But he's adjusting. How did you find him? Largely, that's down to Atreus having figured out how to access the prophecies giants reserved for their own kind. We only learned of it ourselves after Thor and Odin came calling. To your home? Is it still standing? Barely. But all the violence was seemingly just a distraction to let Odin have a private word with Atreus. Odin was alone with your son? Did he tell you what they spoke of? Yes. He said that Odin invited him to Asgard to help him find his answers. The answers he's rushing into fate in search of. That's troubling. Well, if you're ready to talk to him, the Mystic Gateway is ahead. If not, I have some unfinished business up this river I could use your help with. Or we can follow up on that elven sanctum out in Alpine's desert. <laughs> if you want to continue exploring, we'll need to remove that log in the river. What is this? The crest of Skirnir. Never quite as smart as he thought. Good. We can explore the river now, and hopefully right some old wrongs. What is your unfinished business? I left something behind, near the falls. Your wedding site? Now why do you want to be going back there? To be free of the bonds of my marriage. And to ask her. I think you severed that a long time ago. Not completely. Not enough. Guide us. My people settled this river many ages ago. Thousands traveled it on pilgrimage to the Shrine of Worship. But then the Aesir came. This is all that's left. Astrid's garden. The wilds reclaimed it. It was beautiful once. Waterfalls. We're close. There should be a gate up ahead. 
That's quite a gate. Don't suppose you know a way through? A pilgrim gate. I can open it. We just need to find the right vantage point. Freya, there's something I've always wanted to ask. What was it Hrimthur whispered to you? Who? Hrimthur, the son of Thormur, the stonemason, who disguised himself and built Asgard's wall. Oh, yes. One of the many occasions Odin saw fit to involve me in a wager without my consent. I wish I could say that was the worst of his husbandly habits. What wager? I've told this story, brother. And now she may tell her own. There isn't that much to tell. I knew nothing of it at first, surely because Odin didn't expect to lose the bet. A mysterious mason had to build the entire wall in three turns of the season. Two! It was two! And if he was late, he'd be owed nothing. But if he succeeded, he was promised an audience with the queen. Or so I learned one day when Odin burst into our bedchambers, raging and half drunk before noon, telling me to get dressed and go see what the mason wants. So off I went, not knowing what had truly been promised or expected. Dagger stashed in my robe for emergency. And this mason, this giant in disguise. His name was Hrimthur. He just smiled to see me. And as you said, he whispered in my ear, he said the Aesir had killed his father, and he needed to know that one day they'd burn for him. Let this wait. Stay alert. Gunhild. But to what end? When the Ain Heriar came, we needed a way to fight back. I suggested it. Say them. I understand your desperation, but that was foolish. Clearly. I was lucky enough to be murdered before my mind could be corrupted, as theirs did. You must free them. Of course. Say their magic corrupts so ruthlessly. Those poor souls must be in agony. Then we shall give them death. Peace bearing Lunda's brand. Shame it's broken. Nice bit of work otherwise. Then why leave it? You suspicious of her, brother? If the orb she seeks is important, she would not have left it behind. Ah, perhaps. Must be Sather this way. We'll need to find another way around. Hmm. <laughs> 
Now, how do we get up there, I wonder? We can. Not with those vines, anyway. Looks like that worked. My friend's souls are still twisted, aren't they? Give them the freedom of death. So, what's it like, being back? Like I haven't come back at all. Everything's changed. I'm a stranger here. I know the feeling. The runic word appeared over there. See it? Mekin. We should be able to reach the wedding site. Despite his actions in Midgard, Atreus does still care for you. I know. Ugh. The closer we get, the more tightness grows in my chest. You're sure you want to continue? Confronting the past comes with a price. It must be done. I've lived with this pain far too long. If you can believe it. We were happy once. For a time, foolishly believed the peace would last. Perhaps that was my mistake. All I wanted was to protect my family. There is no shame in that. I failed all the same. Enemy behind you, Kratos! <laughs> Brother, I had a thought. What if we took a stealthy approach to our next battle? No. Do you know why I left that night, Mimir? Only a hunch. He showed me who he really was. Odin asked me to cast a protection spell on him. The one I used on my son. But the way it drove our boy mad. I refused. He was furious. Throwing every object he could find. Destroyed the room. There was only coldness. I tried to make it work. No one could have lived like that, Your Majesty.
Fair few birds you've hunted. I wonder if it might be worth visiting the Raven Tree. Sigil arrows won't work on this. Reavers, of course. Oh! 
Hopefully the objects I'm looking for are still here. Anything interesting, brother? The door is shut. If memory serves, we'll need to light both of those torches to open it. This is a mystic fire. Its flames are short-lived. Look at this. From the ceremony. A symbol of reconciliation. drank from the lover's chalice until we could hardly stand. I confided in him that night about wanting an apology from Freyr. Odin reassured me that he'd be the only family I'd need. And I believed him. Good thing you learned the runes, brother. Read that from here. Let's head back and I can take a better look. 
Better now? No. The pain only grows. Will I never be free of it? What more do I need to do? It's a denouncement from my people, placed during my wedding. So much about that day I wish I could change. If only I'd seen the signs. illuminating. First families ripped apart by the war. My circlet's here. It's on that pedestal by the balcony! We 
must remove these creatures first. On your right! Symbol of commitment. After the ceremony, he had a new one made every week, each more beautiful than the last. He stopped when I refused to teach him the old magic. You know, my people used to send me gifts too, so I wouldn't forget home. But after the birth of my son, they stopped too. Word is complete, but I still can't read it from here. Let's head back down. Peace by breaking it. But I feel nothing. Perhaps what you seek cannot be found in a circlet. You may be right. The runic word appeared over there. See it? Now, the word. Phew! Why does the other side of this door scare me most? The most difficult battles are fought within. But this battle, you will not fight alone. Final tie to Asgard. We drove that sword into the pillar together. The sword was forged for the ceremony. A symbol of our union. The deepest wounds form the strongest bonds. 
bastard said it as part of our vows. I hate it when he's right. Asgard holds a part of me I can't sever. My bond to my son. To the Valkyries. That damn realm isn't just Odin's. It belongs to me, too. he caused is his. I refuse to keep holding on to it. This sword no longer holds our legacy. But it will serve as mine. A much more fitting use for it. I suppose it's on to the next battle now. Yes. You won an important one today. When have you ever asked for permission? It's just... I owe you my life, such as it is. And I... I caused you so much pain. Put you in a terrible situation. For that, Freya, I'm truly sorry. I wanted to end that war, too. I know. But I swear to do better by you nonetheless. Anything you ask, consider it done. I'm forever in your debt. I appreciate that. Even if you can't help being an obnoxious man. I'm afraid I'll never know how to stop doing that. Oh, 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 oh,
Look, over there. Too much for that boat. You know, an arrogant man once told me you can't change the past, only how it shapes you. I think you might be right. It's been a while since I've had a confidence. Would the god of few words lend me his ear now and again? As long as I am needed. 